What is up guys, it's Silver here and welcome, this is the FIFA 13 Season 1 with Southampton, this is episode 23 now, coming towards the end of the season, we are in the last month, this is May, and today we have Tottenham and Southampton, Tottenham, 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 they're in 4th place, 1 place above us guys, a win against Tottenham would be exceptionally good, but uh, just a little bit of contract issues before I go into the next month, because I do plan on staying with Southampton for another season unless I get a very good offer from another club. Uh, David Beckham's contract is running out, so I give him another contract. Two years, 20%, a little bit more wage, and I hope he accepts. But here it is. Spurs away. If we can win here, or if we can even manage a draw, we will keep our fifth place hopes and maybe even our fourth place hopes so high up. Um, but we get up to a good start, as you can always tell when I, when I fast forward things from kickoff. Nolana on the board. Gives it to Elsha. Has a shot from nowhere and out of nothing. He beats Hugo Lloris. Look at this for a goal. For a fantastic smash, and he dedicates his celebration to the manager. For those you didn't see there, he ran over to greet him. But uh, that was the best possible start we could have wished for. And then we had a, nearly had another one here, where Yuka smashing it straight at the keeper. Though good save, but uh, in the end, it was a corner. Nothing came from it, unfortunately, for a change. You know, OP corners in FIFA 13. But uh, Dembele did have a chance to net one back for Spurs, and the keeper, Kelvin Davis, what a fucking tank he is. Coming out, smashing it clear. El Shirari is on 17 goals, as you can see there. But look at this. Suso running down the wing, nipping it in for El Shah, who could have scored his second of the game. Just had to connect a little bit better with that header. It would have been nice. But uh, as you can see, Tottenham were causing us no problems in the defence. I mean, they were causing us problems. They are a good team. They're you know, sufficiently better than us um, for now. But, uh, you know, they weren't really causing us any problems. And we had more of the possession in the first half. But it did change a little bit into the second half, as you can see here. Tottenham just starting to get on the ball a little bit more, causing us to panic a little bit at the back. And the shot in the end goes over from the substitution. And I actually have to make some substitutions here. Cork and Henri coming on for Pogba and Mayuka. So, uh, you know, just injecting a little bit of pace into the team, making sure that we don't fall behind. And Henri here does all the work. Gives it to Welshar, who gives it back to Henri. Look at this. Henri whipping it in for Lallana. Lallana over the top, through ball to El Shirari, who manages to sprint in from deep into the box, penalty spot, volleyed it, bottom corner, that is a goal of the season, so is the other goal, the other goal was a nice goal of the season as well, but look at this, this is a good candidate, El Shah with another, with the next goal in his uh, Premier League tally, look at this, bad defending really, but a, what a run by El Shah to smack that home in the uh, 86th minute, and you know, Tottenham had no reply to that, Sanjo here tried to play a little through ball, I believe that was the Walker who was furthest forward there, but nothing could be done, and in the end it was... El Shirari, who got us the two point, uh, sorry, got us the three goals and the two. So, getting words mixed up here, got us the two goals and the three points. And El Shirari was the man of the match. It's safe to say. <sighs> Southampton did come on, come out on top against Spurs to haul ourselves up in the table. We are now only one point behind them, and with just two games left, guys, we are three points clear from Arsenal, as you can see in the right hand corner there in the background. Can we? Finish fifth. It would be a really, really good ambition. Our season aim is to qualify for Europa League, which is, of course, eighth. And uh, apparently, as you saw there, stayed Rene. Don't want to come from me anymore, which is uh, fine by me. I was going to stay with Southampton anyway, like I've already said. Um, guys, I'm not really going to offer you anything because it's my first season, so well, not many clubs are going to try and offer for me. But um, apparently, David Beckham is staying, which is all good. And uh, a little bit of a consolation for all the Spurs fans is that Spurs did actually win this year's FA Cup. After a hard-fought victory over Fulham side. So Fulham did come out second. They did knock us out back in January, if you, if you can remember. And uh, the next little bit of news is that we are playing Sunderland. And, uh, well, I didn't show you the uh, lineup there because I basically just left it out by accident. But uh, we start off well. Lambert this time playing instead of Mayuka. Winning the corner there and winning the header. What a goal that is. I'm sorry, Ricky Lambert. You are a beast. I really do apologise for not playing you. But uh, you do pop up when I need you most. And oh my days, I've had to need him most here. This is the most important match of the season, guys. A win here would guarantee us fifth place. Guarantee us fifth place. Okay? A win here would guarantee us fifth place. And Sterling nearly grabbed us another goal there. But uh, the over top, the over the top through ball was cleared out by the Southampton defence. And... Uh, you know, it was against Sterling going to work down that near near side. Uh, sorry, down that far side, and uh, he really is quite a player with the pace and the ball control that he has, and the pass and the vision. Really, um, I am I am not surprised at all that I uh, uh, I signed him. I loaned him on. But uh, as you see there, unfortunately, Connor Wickham got a bit of a dodgy goal back for Sunderland. His header really wasn't challenged well enough for me, and I don't know what the defender was doing, but. Uh,
when Felipe Santana comes back, it will be all good. It does not matter, however, as you can see in the top, Jack Hawk is actually injured. But Sterling, what the hell are you doing? That is the only aspect of your play you need to work on, your finishing. If that had gone in, it would, would have pretty much sealed the game. But as you can see here, Jack Hawk got injured. So I uh, just had to make a few, a few substitutions. Brought on Pogba and Suso for... Uh, Cork and obviously Sterling because I was not having that miss. Like I say, Sterling is a very, very good player and hopefully I will keep using him, but there is no doubt about that. Um, I think I will pick him up at the end of the season, but hopefully his finishing improves. And you really expect that to be going in for Raelshar as well. He had all the net to aim for and he does not get it in. And Lana, how the hell did you not just put that ball in for Raelshar to score? <sighs> but in the end, it was a, it was a pretty tight game, not going to lie. Connor Wickham here had another chance. Another fantastic save by Kevin, Kelvin Davis, as he has been doing so all season. And Alana, just smash it in, Jesus Christ, just smash it in. I don't care who. But, uh, you know, like I said, or oh, I haven't said it yet, but um, this game really, really, really was there for the winning. We could have won it so easily, and in the end, it was 1-1 at full time, as you can see there. I don't think that's a fair reflection. Southampton really only had a couple of chances through Conor Wickham up front, and we needed to score so many more goals than we did there. But uh, Jack Hawk is out for the rest of the season. So, uh, bit of a bummer, really, but um, he was one of my rotation players, so I suppose I just won't be able to use him anymore for, for the next four weeks, surprisingly. But uh, anyway, this episode's just about wrapping up, guys. We have one more game left in the season, and it looks like we will be finishing fifth. Just a point will do us. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could, leave a like. It would be appreciated. And apart from that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.